when it's massaging the scalp, you can make it so loose, you can actually pinch some of the, the, the actual, you know, tissue. It, he said it, it becomes wow. unstuck from the cranium. I have to say, I don't think I could have got through my second pregnancy without reflexology. You know, people have to go back to the old days where they expected to feel something, a little ouch, but it's, it's a, a therapeutic pain. Welcome to The Wellness Way with me, Philly J. Lay, a lay person's guide to your natural health systems, your very own NHS. Hello, lovely people, and welcome to another fantastic episode of The Wellness Way. And today's guest, I am so excited to introduce you to. This is a man that has been working as a physiotherapist for 55 years. He is quite extraordinary, and he is still advancing the techniques of everything that he's learned. Uh, he's been a pioneer in the subject that I'm going to talk to him about today. And so without further ado, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to introduce you to Tony Porter. Hello, Tony. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Hello, Phyllis. Thank you very much for inviting me. Oh, so first of all, I would like the audience to get to know you. And you've got a quite remarkable story going back um, many years, if you don't mind me saying that, but you don't look it. And I think that's a really key thing to the treatments that you do. Uh, so take us back. I'd like to go back, first of all, to the 1950s, mm. when your sister had polio. Yes. So could you tell us about that? It was rife at the time, but you saw your father doing something and I'd like you to talk a little bit about your childhood and your sister and let us know that story. Yes, well, really, those days in the 1950s were very dark, austere days. You know, it, was, it was just after the war in London. And um, as you said, polio was, was rife. And I was about, well, I was, I was six at the time and uh, my sister had polio. And unfortunately, she was disabled quite badly in her in her right leg and her lower back, and she still is to this day, although she's in her eighties now. And um, she brought up four kids, four, four children, very successfully. But it's a strange thing for this because in those days, I had the pointer to what would become my future life in reflexology, because although um, I was ill, I had polio. And the effects of it lasted for a long time. I would think it took me a year to get over it, but I wasn't paralyzed. Had a few little effects, but um, not that. But the strange thing is, is that, um, well, first of all, just let me paraphrase something. My father was a gentleman's hairdresser. He did want to go into, into medicine. So I think somewhere down the line, there's some grandfather was in medicine, but the family circumstances didn't allow him. So he followed his sisters into medicine. Eventually, he worked in London's West End, in the Mayfair area. And what, what he, my father always had, he always was very good at massaging people's heads. And this was before head massage became the in thing. He always could uh, massage people's migraines away and do their necks. And in fact, he, he actually got, got known for that. So people came wow. into the salon in London. And there were stars. There were people came from, you know, Bing Crosby, um, Peter Sellers and... Lots of people, Jack Benny, they oh, all wow. came to him to have the hair done. And I used to help out in the salon early as a young kid to earn a bit of money, a bit of pocket money. And one thing stuck to me in my mind very much. There was this gentleman who spent the night in a Mayfair gentleman's drinking club in a very high, uh, <laughs> expensive place. And, he, and I remember he came in with his uh, very expensive coat on and a scarf on, and he smelt of very expensive tobacco, cigars and brandy. Remember that? And he said, Jimmy, that was my father's name, help me. If, I, if my wife sees me like this, she'll kill me. I'm, I'm having breakfast with her later on. And <laughs> so he said, I've got a terrible headache. And he looked 100 years old. He was bent over, awful migraine. So my father said, S -s sit down, George, what his name was. And he started to work his magic, working his, his, uh, his hands on his head. And he had a very unusual technique. And that was when he's massaging the scalp, he could make it so loose he could actually pinch some of the, the, the actual, you know, tissue. It, he said it, it becomes wow. unstuck from the cranium. So he was able oh, to massage wow. very deeply. 
And then you should do a bit of work on the neck and a bit of friction, and no, no head resting, nothing, and a bit of shoulder work. And it took about, I suppose, about 40 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes. And the gentleman stood up, literally, he looked 20 years younger. Oh, my God. And I thought, my God, that's pretty neat. It was a young kid, you know, very young. I saw him and said, my God, that's uh, incredible. That's very neat. So that was him. He had this, and he was taught that by German hairdresser, apparently, uh, pre-war, before the war. But and apparently, to... presumably in those days, Indian head massage hadn't been heard of. This was just going to be a London massage. Or <laughs> UK massage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what happened is that um, another link was that, that's, that was one link into my future life as a, you know, physical therapist and et cetera. But before that, when I was five, my sister, because of her illness, she had very bad circulation in, in her legs, particularly her right leg. And it was very cold in those days. There was no heating in the houses because cold was short and everything else. And her leg would turn blue. Remember, it's like just blue. And we, we, we sit in front of the fire. And I saw my father put my sister's leg on his lap and massage it. So it's fine here. With a cork, now this isn't a cork block. It's like a sanding block, you know, right? He was rubbing the soles of her feet with this. This is dry. You know, it was it was a pure cork block. This isn't this is wood. But it's about the same shape and size of the kind of sanding block I've got here, but made out of cork. Now, where he got that from, I have no idea. And I said, Dad, what are you doing? And he said, I'm stimulating your sister's nerves. Wow. Now, and I saw that foot, or the leg, rather, Turned from an awful blue, cold to a pink, healthy, warm leg. Oh my goodness! You know, now why he, where he learned that, I've no, I could say being that age, I have no, I no idea what that link that would be in my future. So I didn't ask him. I thought, hmm, interesting. Uh, all we can think, all we can think of is that he did, as he did once be a doctor, but he couldn't do it because of family. He did um, volunteer to do a six months. Uh, field, um, was it field trauma assistant surgeon, yeah, that field trauma assistant surgeon, which may be in a hospital for six months. So he said he learned a lot there. And he may have been taught something like that there, I don't know, about stimulating perhaps injured people's nerves. I don't know. He may have learned it there. So that, that was the link. That was five then. So it was always wow. been there, you know, yeah. So that was there. It was two links. First, massaging my sister's uh, foot or feet, and then seeing him massage. These people says actually rejuvenate them, you know. <laughs> it's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Yeah. I have to say, I don't think I could have got through my second pregnancy without reflexology. And we'll talk yeah. about pregnancy and reflexology yes, yeah. later yeah. because it's it's quite there are yeah. some rules to it, aren't yes. there? Yes, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. But I I was like a big beached whale. I was just really? ginormous. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and I I couldn't, I felt terrible the whole time and I couldn't move and without the reflexology I don't think I could have got through it 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 completely changed my life and I think up until that moment in time I had been maybe a little bit skeptical about reflexology if I'm honest I'd had it and I thought it was kind of no more than a a foot tickle if you like yes yes but I didn't want to, I was pregnant, so I wasn't going to take any medica medication whatsoever. And I was trying to keep me and my baby as healthy as possible. And nice. I thought, right, I've got to do something. So uh, I had this wonderful woman who would, I was so huge, I could barely walk. So she said, I'll come round to your house and do it. And she came round once a week. And um, by the, she used to come on a Thursday and by the Wednesday afternoon, I was flagging so badly, kind of thinking, oh my God, I can't wait for tomorrow to come. So can you explain to us what reflexology is and how it works, why it works. Well, yeah, well, I mean, we, we, we have some ideas. First of all, getting back to your experience in pregnancy, I had the good fortune of meeting a very prominent uh, gynecological surgeon. And he knew what I was my work. And so he, um, he asked me to work with him, not with him in his surgery, but in his, his practice. Mm -hmm. And we treated a lot of ladies there, or oh, thousands possibly over 12 years, who had uh, menstrual problems, uh, infertility problems, and things like that. So what we did use, we did use the forerunner of the live, um, the live imaging. 
I think it was a Doppler machine. This is a long time ago. We had a Doppler, which would measure various criteria like uh, blood flow, other um, things like that, you know. And um, and anyway, I get back, back to stage. It was through that that I got to work in pregnancy, things like that, in pregnancy. Uh, uh -huh. And and what what he found, I I did things. I I was told to do things that I would never do. I mustn't do it in my training. Because I was oh, told really? in those days not to treat until the first time I saw that business. Yeah. Know? And he said, treat right through. He said, these ladies have not gone full term and they are the people that need treatment. So, uh, yeah, so I said, really? Said, yeah, don't worry about it. And he said, you know, and I, I was always thinking about the spleen six points. You know, acupuncture, so you mustn't uh, stimulate the pain or you know, needle the spleen six point because it can cause contractions. But um, Lindsay always said, well, those contractions are not the labor contractions. They said that the users will contract in many things during pregnancy anyway. But they're, they're not the, the, the contractions of labor. That's okay. Was, you know. So you but, can... But I'm, I'm not, yeah. I'm, I'm not suggesting that you should do it. I'm just saying it's what I found. It's up to you whether you do that or not. You know, I'm, not, I'm not saying yeah, I, I do. But I'm not suggesting anyone out there does that. But, um, you know, that's what he found and what he saw those, those years back. So, you, um, yeah. you did that study in uh, 1985, I believe. Yeah, and 84, was... 84 to 85, yeah, that year, yeah. yeah. So, and and um, it, it, it was a clinical pilot, wasn't it? It was pilot, yes. And then after that, we were going to line up a uh, proper two year double blinded thing. But unfortunately, he died after the first one. Uh, oh. Yeah, because, because before he was a surgeon, he was studying geology in South Africa. And his subject was asbestos. So they would they would blow up an asbestos mine and lower the students down and collect the dust. So you know what that leads to. Thirty years down the line, and he said yeah. to me one day, Tony, I won't make the, those trials. I, I, I won't be around. So we could never do it really. And also to raise funding for it in those days was so difficult to raise funding for the trial. It's easier now, perhaps, but as he said, if we had invented a drug, they'd be all, all over us. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Sorry to interrupt this podcast. Did you know I have an online series, The Wellness Way Faster Class, where you can learn all the wonderful things that you can do to heal yourself and have optimal health. Please go and check it out on phillyjlay.com. But here's a little teaser. My daily essentials are EFT, emotional freedom technique, tapping, fasting, breath work, cold water therapy, showers, exercise, and flavonoid soups or smoothies. I love that word, flavonoid. So try them out, pick your own daily essentials. They're a great way to structure a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. And I really look forward to going on this journey with you. And let me know who you'd like me to interview. Write it in the comments. Please subscribe, share, write a review, and let's get this information out there. Thank you. Couldn't make it up. The universe has a wonderful way of putting people in touch with each other. <laughs> she said, and yeah, and I can tell you that is that is de de depicting um, a um, uh, a shropody kind of treatment because um, in the tomb, in the tomb, there's other surgeries going on as well, but it's doing more. And she said, come to Red Museum, and I'll have my guys translate it for you. So I got the first translation of that thing. It does not, you know, I should do my best for you. Don't hurt me because I don't. So it was me who came up with the translation, and then, of course that thing went worldwide. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't used in Egypt, I'm not saying it at all, because they were very advanced medicine. But it, it wasn't there. But again, it didn't, come from, didn't start from there. But then we found out on my, on my travels, I traveled, went to Mongolia. I thought it might come from there. I had a, I went, it was where in the middle of the winter, minus 40 degrees in a yurt. <laughs> But it wasn't there. <laughs> oh. I just went there anyway. And uh, so anyway, I came back again. And um, um, again, synchronicity, as you mentioned, came to the rescue. And I just read of the of the uh, Otzi, the Iceman. Have you heard of Otzi, the Iceman? Yes, I have. Yes. So he was found on the on the border of Italy and in the Alps. Yes, in the Otzi Valley or something. Yeah. In yes. The, in Otzi, yeah. And he had tattoos all over his body, which were acupuncture points. Yeah.
If you are enjoying my work, please sign up to my webpage, phillyjlay.com, and you will receive my newsletters and an exclusive Walking Into Your Future meditation. And if you buy my course, The Wellness Way Faster Class, Your Natural Wellness Journey, you will get two amazing free bonus gifts. My Wellness Awakening album and a video on how I make my herbal teas. And for the full, completely uncensored videos of my podcast, you can come and find me on my Rumble channel, where my guests still have freedom of speech. And join me on my Locals Community channel, where I will be building my community and starting my weekly Zoom calls for the price of a cup of coffee a month.